Hi, my name is Kelly Vasquez, and this is my grant internship experience. When I began the technical writing certification program, it didn't take long for me to decide that I wanted to pursue the full master's degree. So with that came the opportunity to do an internship, but finding an internship was a lot harder than I expected. Last November, I began working in the development office of a private school and it took just two months on the job for me to realize that the school could use a grant writer and that was right up my alley as not only a journalist but as a technical writer. So I spoke with the head of school and he agreed to let me do my internship at All Saints. The first couple of months of the internship really involved a lot of cataloging and finding details of the school's profile and their successes and getting it written down and broken up into chunks, something that they didn't initially have. I was glad I had six months to do this internship because there is a lot of information to catalog. It's an ongoing process and will continue, I'm sure, long after the internship is over with as I plan to pursue a grant writing position with the school when I am finished. I also began working on a transportation grant in conjunction with one of my mentors who really helped me through this whole process, gathering information and getting all of it pared down into something workable for a grant. After school starts in August, I'll have my hands full fielding requests from teachers and other faculty to create grants or pursue grant opportunities. In the meantime, my mentor and I are also discussing a shade structure grant. Now when I walk across campus, I see opportunities for grants everywhere. We have a learning farm. We're getting bees. Conservation grants are very big right now, so I see a lot of opportunity there. We also have a debate program that's very successful, and we have a really great STEM program, so there are a lot of opportunities there. My internship job title is Grant Program Specialist, and when the head of school set this internship up for me, his whole vision was eventually for me to create a grant program, something the school didn't have. Up to this point, the school has relied on hiring freelance grant writers to help them with any grants that they've had written. So having an in-house grant writer is a great tool for them. My internship job description includes several tasks. First and foremost is to find funding sources. And that can be kind of tricky when you work for a private Christian school. It's been difficult, but when I do find a potential source, I make a note of it to pursue later down the road. Another task is to research grant opportunities. This is very time consuming and you really have to have your grant idea narrowed down because if it's too broad, there are so many grants out there. If you can't narrow it down, you're going to have a more difficult time finding an opportunity. A third task is to create grant proposals. I've done my first one, which is an emissions improvement on our diesel shuttle buses on some of the older ones, and that grant will be submitted next month in September. I also have a shade structure grant in the works with my mentor, who's been a great help on these, as he just knows his way around them, and it's, it's so helpful. The very first thing I tackled in this internship was to maintain a grant tracking system. There were so much information and it was in so many different places. It did not exist in one spot. So it is part of my duties as an intern to find this information, break it up into pieces and store it so we can pull it out and add them to grants as we need them. I was also asked to develop grant policies and procedures. That is just getting going since school is back in session and the faculty has found out that there is a grant writer on staff. So now I need to determine how they, they submit their information and how this is going to work. Once I begin writing grants for the faculty and staff, I will need to be a liaison between them and the foundation that we are asking for money from. 
It will also be part of my internship duties to ensure that any grant terms are held in compliance between the school and the foundation. Cultivating external funding interest was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be because teachers are interested in grants. Facilitating partnerships and programs, I think, is going to end up being more of a long-term goal than a short-term internship goal, but it is something that I will need to learn how to do eventually. There's a variety of software that I use in this internship program. For communication, uh, my mentors and I use Google Calendar. We use Gmail to communicate. We use Microsoft Word. Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets for documentation. I prefer Excel, but one of my mentors prefers Google Sheets. We use Trello for project tracking, and the rest of the school uses this in its different divisions as well. It's a wonderful tracking tool because you can see where your projects are, whether they're beginning, they're in progress, or if they've been completed. And anybody who's part of your Trello board can see where you are in your project. They don't have to pick up a phone to find out. Since I don't have any database tracking programs for grant software, I've been looking into a couple of different types, mainly Blackbaud's Grant Maker, but we found out that's extremely expensive and we already own several of their modules. It's just $200 a month per person seemed a bit high. My next option is Flux Grant Seeker. Right now, I have done the trial version. I'm very pleased with it. I would ideally like the premium program, which also allows you to not only store your grant information on any grant you've got going, but it also allows you to search for grants that are out there. This internship has been busy. It's been fun, and like any other internship, it's got its challenges. The first is scope. Because my internship tasks, there's so many to try to accomplish, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to them all. I've already gotten to a good portion of them, but I may not be able to get to all of them in the allotted time that I have. Trying to keep up with the sheer amount of data that I've been finding and trying to sort out is a huge challenge. Nobody has done anything with this data before, so it's just been sitting out there in documents, in spreadsheets, in publications, and now I have to go and find it and put it all together into chunks. At least once I do this, the information will be there and I we can just add to it as the school year goes on. Not having a database to put all of this information into has been extremely difficult. Uh, Excel was never meant to be a database, but it's what I've got. We use Google Drive to store other documents, but I would like to get this stuff put in a database. So I am researching the different types of software that we can purchase to be able to do this. The learning curve in an academic environment. First of all, take a lot of notes. If you want to keep yourself sane, keep your data organized. Know where it is, have folders, subfolders. If you don't have a database like I do at the moment, find a way to keep it organized. Asking questions does not come easy for me. I'm a do-it-yourselfer. But Dr. Campbell has stressed the importance of asking questions, and she is so right. Don't be afraid to do it. It doesn't make you look weak, and you can get so much more done quickly if you ask a question, or three or four. If you were like me, the very first time you started researching a grant, you thought it would be a piece of cake, and finding the right one would just happen right off the bat. Well, it doesn't. You have to really narrow down your subject and you also have to find the criteria that your organization fits to make sure that you are eligible for the particular grant. So don't give up, keep digging, you'll find it. When you submit a grant, you are also submitting your state of financial need, which often means you have to supply numbers from previous years, budget, things of that sort. The business office or accounting office is going to have those numbers. Get on their good side. Bring them coffee, maybe even a donut, because you're going to need information from them often. 
In grant writing, there is much more material to collect for a grant than you ever realized. Details and lots of them. It's like the tip of an iceberg or a giant thousand piece puzzle. You have got to find all of the pieces and put them together. My tip of the day, drink coffee. If you don't drink coffee, start. It keeps you warm, it keeps you awake, and it keeps you going. The school profile has been my biggest project so far. It's an ongoing project. I've done it in Excel because I do not have database software, but at least in Excel, I broke it down into something like chapters and color-coded it, and I go and add to this as I find extra information or if I need to pull information out, it's easily found here. School Successes is another document I've been working on also in Excel where it breaks down the student achievements by school, upper school, middle school, and lower school, and then further breaks it down into academics, athletics, fine arts, and spiritual elements. There's a lot going on at our school and our students are successful and the school successes allows me to pull these certain areas out depending on what type of grant I'm writing and so I can incorporate it into the grant and add a personal touch about what our students and classes are doing. The Emissions Improvement Grant is the first grant I've written for All Saints School. I worked with one of my mentors to get our older shuttle buses retrofit with better emission systems to modernize them and reduce hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, basically to clean them up and keep them on the road for a little bit longer until we can replace them. The Shade Structure Grant will be my next grant for the school and we have a giant shade structure over our main playground right now but because of the bad weather we've had in the last two years it's in need of repair. I don't think it exactly needs replacement but it needs repair but we also have several other places on campus that would benefit from either large shade structures or the smaller sales especially the tennis courts and areas of the learning farm. I've been really happy with this grant experience and I'm glad I did it. I never thought my internship would be over grants, but I'm thinking this is the direction I would like my career to go. If I don't work for the school, I would like to eventually freelance, especially if my husband is transferred. This is a portable skill that I can take with me wherever I go. Thank you for watching.